Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? You blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Oakland of Camberg, for your crimes against... <laughs> Oakland of Camberg, for your crimes against... ...have been declared a reprobate and an outlaw. Will you willingly lay down your arms and accept your just punishment at the hands of Sir Hanush? Or do you intend to offer resistance? That's a difficult choice, cousin. What do you say, man? Let's just stick our heads in the nooses willingly. <laughs> Am I to take it you intend to resist? I didn't want to, but these men here talked me into it. We're wasting our time, Captain. This brute here has the honor of a common footpath. murdering swine, slain Vitus and Cyril. I think it's time they pay for it. What do you say, man? Damn right. Yeah! At those bastards! Shoot! Throw those horns rushing to the man who brings me Wolfman's head!
It's under the hood, and in our blood. The roar of the engine, the rush of the wind. We can never go fast enough, hard enough, or loud enough. Whether we're on the streets or above the clouds, America is our playground. On the waves, we dominate the sea. In the air, we rule the sky. On the track, we push the limits. Off the road, we forge new paths. We're the land of the free and the nation of horsepower, speed, and victory. Come on, get him inside. What happened? I got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, deep. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Oh! Out of the way! Oh! Hey, 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 man!
Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Come on, come on! Son of a bitch. Let's do this. Yeah? You want some of this? Why do you have You always have a bad attitude. You know that? I have a bad attitude. I have a bad attitude. Yeah, a bad attitude. Yeah. What you even do yeah, you Just don't talk okay. to me. Yes, better if we just don't talk. <coughs> where, yo, where are you at, man? Hey, shut the hell up. Shh. Make it too much goddamn. He's not being that loud. You shut the hell up. Thank you. You shut up. Okay. Shh. I want all of you to shut the hell up. Hey. What is your problem? No, oh, shh, shh, shh. There's something out there. Here for him. I'm here for you. 
I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Okay. Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make us. The Priscilla's Shallows of Madagascar. Located on the cusp of a bustling trade route, it is the perfect place for an ambush. Here is our gang of pirates, the Raiders, going head to head with a gang of rival players, the Cutthroats. Victory goes to the team with the most loot at the end of the hunt. Knowing how to sail with the wind is a pirate's most precious skill. Use the winds to increase your speed or to position yourself for tactical advantage in battle. To reap the most rewards, it is best to split up, some going inland, others keeping to the open sea. Each warship has unique strengths. The frigate's hull is reinforced, its arsenal equipped with numerous culverin cannons. The Brigantine is devastating up close, with a battering ram designed to break any resistance. The Sloop of War kills from afar, with its crippling long-ranged mortars and precise long nine cannons. Don't let bloodlust cloud your purpose. You're here for the loot, and so are your rivals. Store the goods, then back to your stations. The team that escapes with the most loot claims victory. Sail! Searching for more targets on the horizon, our sloop of war spots a rival pirate ship further inland. Heavily reinforced hull, our frigate swoops in to save the day, bearing the brunt of the damage. taking aim at the frigate, and it will take team coordination to take her down. Fuego! Hold tight, lad! That ship's badly damaged! They are killing! We can take their ship! With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. No quarter! Blackened silver. Fancy snorting some fish, miss. <laughs> We've got pirate hunters. It's 
Pirate hunters have been sent in, signaling the end of the hunt. They target the pirates with the most stolen loot. Time to make our escape, Captain, or we are good for the news. They're firing mortars! Full tilt, Silvo, full tilt! The pirate hunter defenses are so strong that the only option is escape. The brigantine is sacrificing herself to buy time for the frigate who carries the most loot. The frigate now needs to make its escape through the reefs. Captain, that's back for the reefs! Successful pirates know when to run, with their hulls full and the wind at their backs. The greatest thing about working on a Spider-Man game is that you're working on a Spider-Man game. The hardest thing is that it's a Spider-Man game. We really care about storytelling here at Insomniac. And I think that's how we go into every day we come here. There's this push to really get it right. One of the most compelling things uh, about Spider-Man is just when Peter Parker and Spider-Man's worlds collide. And we've tried really hard to weave the two stories together to create a story that is not necessarily just a superhero story, but a human story as well. So this Spider-Man is a little different. He's older, he's 23, so he's been Spider-Man for eight years. And kind of like an athlete in the prime of his career, he's starting to get good at the Spider-Man thing. The nice thing about playing an experienced Spider-Man is that he's already familiar with his powers, right? He's not just discovering them. We always think of Spider-Man as we call him the acrobatic improviser. He's looking for not only how he can take advantage of the way the enemies are positioned, but what around him. Could he use this object to grab with his webs and throw it at an enemy? We want people to not only see the enemies in front of them, but the environment around to take advantage of both of them. He also knows that the criminals out in the city know how he works as well, so um, he's got to mix it up. So even though he is more experienced, the challenges are going to be bigger than he's ever faced before. Spider-Man has a rich history of having great stories. The core of our story is this duality between being Peter Parker and being Spider-Man. What's cool about Mr. Negative is that he also has a duality. He's got his positive side as Martin Lee, who runs the homeless shelters in the city, but he also has his negative side. When Peter makes the connection that the leader of the Inner Demons is the guy who my aunt works for, we got the perfect collision of those two worlds. So many people have their own vision of what Spider-Man should look like, what he should sound like, and in the end, we just have to put a new and fresh twist on who he is. And for us, it's really, really important to deliver those big spectacle moments, those near impossible scenarios that only someone like Spider-Man can survive, and put you in that action. You got this, you got this, you got this! We understand what this character means to people in here. And we're making this game with a lot of heart, and we're gonna do whatever it takes to give people the ultimate Spider-Man experience, the game that they've been waiting for. Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades.
Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced and all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Uh, I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. Where does fire from up ahead? I'll go low. You flank. later with Kim. <laughs> yeah, he could use the XP. Hello, treasure. I think we got some action up ahead. Anyone? Anyone? We're under attack. Anyone in the area? We're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis's mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Not time to use that mortar. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. <laughs> oh, come on. Be selling good. Oh, yes! Jair's Wrath. Oh, nice. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there.
What would you do if the world you knew was gone? All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love? When the protectors can't even save themselves. Truck, get in. Choose a place to call home. How will you build it? Work together to defend it. Just outside the walls. get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes will you make? When the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart, will you end the life? Wait. Or save it? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. strength to carry on. In this world of the living and the dead, How will you survive? We got piggies. Town looks like a war zone. 
Where do you want me? Water tower, got it. some money for me, boy. I seen your name in our ledger. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. We got lawmen in three different states after us. They chased us from the west, they chased us over the mountains. We need an extra gun. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. You're the only one of these fools that I trust. Where's our money? Do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. <laughs> Product not yet rated. <laughs> 